Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video I'm going to show you how to do mail merges using LibreOffice Lite. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use the wizard um, first of all. So um, what I've done here in LibreOffice Calc, I've created an address book and I've called it addressbook.ods. And in there I've put in just a handful of names. Now the reason for a mail merge is so that you can use a database of contacts or a database of information and then use that to create the same document um, over and over but replacing the the names which is the names you want to use so for instance uh, say you want to send a letter out to all the people in your customer database you have this customer list here and then you can send out the same letter to all of the people on the list you know maybe you've got an event coming up or um, something like that so uh, you can see I've added title, first name, second name, address one, town, city, postcode and country and you can make this um, have the fields that you want in it. Now if I go to uh, LibreOffice Writer I can go to Tools and I can go to Mail Merge Wizard and it says do you want to use the current document which I'm going to and then you can choose a, a database. Now uh, you can see I've already got it there but if I didn't have it I could click browse and then find the file I want to use. So um, I'm already using this one so we'll keep that as is. And, and that's the sheet I want to use within the address book. So if I click define there, uh, you have to click back into the form for it to do anything. Uh, so you can start from a template or you can use the existing use current document uh, so if I click on browse from template you can do business correspondence so a modern letter you can do other business documents like business cards uh, things like that so we'll cancel out of there and what we're just going to do is use the current document and we're going to click next so it's now asking what type of document you want to create so I'm going to say a letter in this case and I'll click next so you can select the address list and you can see I've already done that there but you can create other ones if you wanted to um, so I've created my address list which is from my spreadsheet and then you've got um, how does the address look and if you look at down here it will show you what, what it's going to look like but I can click more here and you can see there's various different styles so I can edit that one if I want to and I can take out the things I don't want so I can get rid of company so if you don't want something in there you select it and then you click on this arrow here. So that's what I've done. Uh, so I'm now left with my forename, surname, address line 1, postcode and postal town and I can also put title in there if I want to. So uh, like that. Now I probably want the title and the names in the same line so we're going to do take those out of there like this. You have to select the item and then click the box. So you could take them all out if you want to, if you want to build it up your own way. And so what I'm going to do is title forename surname then we go down a line and then we want address line one and to move it up and around you can use these arrow keys here and then I want the postal town and then I want the postcode like so and if you want a space between the things you should be able to put a space in there I'd have thought so like that if I select this one so you can move it around so if I click OK you can see I've got my title my name and you can see how it's going to look on the thing. So I can click OK and I click OK again. Now what you can also do is match fields. So you can see if I wanted to 
I could title is matching title from a sheet, but I could equally pick any other column on my spreadsheet. If on my spreadsheet I had another column that had title or something else that I wanted to use as title, I could match that to the field in here. So company name I could um, put as postcode or country, whatever I wanted to do. So th that's how that works. So click OK and now we're going to click Next. And then it's going to ask um, about the salutation for your letter. So it's going to do for female dear Mrs um, and male dear Mr. But you could um, make it your own salutation. So you can customise the salutation, so I can put dear, I can say hi, if I want it informal, I can say hello. Um, formal letters you'd probably do uh, dear. So um, that's how it's going to look for that one, and you can do the same for this one, you can customise it again, uh, select the one you want. It's not a perfect situation. A little bit clunky. So if I click on the salutation again, I can put dear and so we've got whether it's male or female, it's going to use the same salutation. Uh, you could do a general one to whom it may concern. But you see that's the preview there, and I can click next. And then you can adjust the layout and you can see it's five centimeters from the top which is probably a bit too high but this is probably for a windowed envelope where you'd want to put it because in the top right corner you're going to put your own uh, address in so we're going to move this salutation up like that and then we're going to click finish so you can see I have um, padded out the um, document that's created so these are the bits that are done by the mail merge and then I've added in some text to go with it and I can save that so I can save it as Code mail merge document and I can save the mail merge documents uh, so I can save it as a large, single large document or as individual documents we'll try as a large document first and we'll click save documents and it's asking for a document name so call it that now if we go down here into our documents folder and look at invitation letters has that worked so you can see we've got one for Mr John Smith we got one for Mrs Jane Hammond and we've got one for Dr. Carl Byrne. If I wanted to, I could exclude a recipient. So, for instance, I can go to Jane Hammond and I can exclude the recipient. At any point, you can see the data sources. Uh, so, by clicking this button here, you can see this is the data source. So, we can toggle that on and off. Now you don't have to use a mail merge wizard and to be honest it's a little bit clunky anyway. What you can do is from here if you do choose view and then you choose toolbars and you choose mail merge. The little toolbar that came up earlier after the mail merge wizard you can choose your um, source. So in this case I'll choose my address book and under tables I've got sheet one. So if I wanted to create the same letter that I created earlier or a similar letter I can say and then here I can put dear and I can drop the title in and then now we have the mail merge uh, created without the use of the wizard and everything that was created before should work so I, sh I should be able to save my merge documents. It's always worth saving your template first. So we'll save that 
and we'll call it uh, subscribe to me like that and then we'll do the save merge documents and we'll save it like that and if I go to my document now without the use of a template you can see that there's a letter for each of the recipients so whether you want to use the wizard or you want to create your own uh, mail merge this is how you would do it now I'm gonna tell you uh, the truth it isn't always 100% successful it's a little bit clunky it's not the most straightforward interface to use but once you get uh, and it's worth saving your template um, quite often but you can use mail merge to create mass mailings and that's the end of the video if you liked it give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time on everyday Linux user mm -hmm.